Hello dear students, hope everyone is doing great. Uh, today we are going to study operation on polynomials. Okay, the first operation is addition of polynomials. Okay, in order to add two polynomials, we are going to add the like terms. In order to add two polynomials or, the, or more than two polynomials, we have to add or we have to sum the like terms. So, what's the like terms? Like terms are the terms with same degrees. It means our first term and the second term, if you are going to add them, first of all, we have to check the degrees, whether the degrees are the same or not. Okay, for example, if p of x is equal to minus 6, x to the power of 4, plus 5x cubed, minus 2x plus 5, and q of x is equal to 4x to the power of 4, plus 5x plus 12, find p of x and q of x. Okay. In order to add these polynomials, First of all, we have to write them down. Okay, minus 6, x to the power of 4, plus 5, x to the power of 3, minus 2x, plus 5. This is the first polynomial. We are going to add it with the second polynomial. 4, x to the power of 4, plus 5x, plus 12. Okay, we have studied that how to calculate the degree of each term. Okay. First term, minus 6x to the power of 4. Let me check if we have another term with the same degree or not. Yes, in the second polynomial, first term of the second polynomial is x to the power of 4. It means we can add them. Minus 6 plus 4. Because the terms are, the degrees are the same, we just add the what? Coefficients. x to the power of 4 plus Okay, second term, 5x cubed. Okay, we are going to check whether if there is another uh, term with the same degree or not. Let me check. No, we don't have. Then we are going to write it down, 5x to the power of 3 itself. Okay, minus 2x, and let me check. What's the degree of the minus 2x? Yeah, because the power of the variable is 1, then the degree of this term is 1. Let me check whether if there is another term with the same degree or not. Yeah, 5x. Then we are going to add them. Minus 2 plus 5x. Okay, we have two constant terms, 5 and 12. That their degrees are what? 0. Then we can add them. 5 plus 12 is equal to minus 6 plus 4 is equal to minus 2 x to the power of 4 plus 5x cubed plus minus 2 plus 5 is equal to plus 3 plus 3 times plus is equal to plus itself is equal to 3x plus 5 plus 12 is 17 so this is the addition of these two polynomials Okay, students, the second operation is subtracting the polynomials. In order to subtract two polynomials, we have to subtract the like terms. As we acted in the addition of uh, polynomials, we are going to subtract the like terms. For example, let p of x is equal to 7x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. And q of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 5x minus 2. And we are asked to calculate the subtraction of these two polynomials. So, what, tr what should we do? First of all, first of all, we have to write the first polynomial itself. 7x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared plus 5. First polynomial, second polynomial, minus 4x to the power of 3 plus 5x minus 2. In subtraction of two polynomials, we have to multiply the subtract sign with each term of the second polynomial. Okay, then we have 7x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared plus 5. Minus times plus minus 4x to the power of 3 minus times plus minus 5x minus times minus is equal to plus 2. Okay, then we are going to subtract the like terms. 7x to the power of 3 
and here we have 4x to the power of 3. The degrees are the same. Then we are going to subtract them. Is equal to 7 minus 4 x to the power of 3. Okay, let me check. Do we have a second degree other than this? No. Then we are going to write it itself. Minus 4 x to the power of 2. Okay, plus 5. 5 is li uh, constant term. It means 5 does not contain any variable. Okay, do we have another constant term? Yes, we have a 2 here. Means plus 5 plus 2. Okay. Minus 5x. Minus 5x five, five left. Okay. We are going to check whether, do, whether we have a, another uh, one term, uh, one degree term or not. Let me check. No, we don't have. Then we are going to write it itself. Minus 5x. Okay. The answer will be 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared itself. Okay. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 and minus 5x. Okay, this is, our, this is the answer, but not the final answer. We are going to write it in the descending form. Okay, descending form, it means the first term should has the highest power. It means 3x to the power of 3 minus 4x to the power of 2. Okay, the second term should be a term which has one Degree less than the second term. It means this is 2. The third term should have the 1 degree. It means minus 5x. Okay. The last and final term is 7 plus 7. Because 7, is, we can write like 7x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 0. Then x to the power of 0 is 1. Okay. This is the final answer. Okay, dear students, this was our lesson for today. Uh, we have just studied the subtraction and addition of polynomials. We are going to study multiplication and division at the next session. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, you can comment it down. Thanks for today.